It is time in short. It is time in short for a new generation of leadership. All over the world, particularly in the newer nations, young men are coming to power. Men who are not bound by the traditions of the past. Men who are not blinded by the old fears and hate and rivalries. Young men who can cast off the old slogans and the old delusions. For I, I stand here tonight facing west on what was once the last frontier. From the lands that stretch 3,000 miles behind us, the pioneers gave up their safety, their comfort, and sometimes their lives to build our new west. They were determined to make the new world strong and free, an example to the world, to overcome its hazards and its hardships, to conquer the enemies that threatened from within and out. And we stand today on the edge of a new frontier, the frontier of the 1960s, the frontier of unknown opportunities and perils, the frontier of unfilled hopes and unfilled threats. It is a set of challenges. It holds out the promise of more sacrifice instead of more security. The new frontier is here whether we seek it or not. Beyond that frontier are uncharted areas of science and space, unsolved problems of peace and war, unconquered province of ignorance and prejudice, unanswered questions of poverty and surplus. It would be easier to shrink from that new frontier, to look to the safe mediocrity of the past, But I believe that the times require imagination and courage and perseverance. I'm asking each of you to be pioneers towards that new frontier. My call is to the young in heart, regardless of age, to the stout in spirit, regardless of party, to all who respond to the scriptural call, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid neither be dismayed. As we face the coming great challenge, we too shall wait upon the Lord and ask that he renew our strength. Then shall we be equal to the test. Then we shall not be weary. Then we shall prevail. <laughs>